Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. Today I will be visiting a creative base that looks like a castle. It was built by Noah Is My Boy, the new Spacing Guild member that built the memorial to my mother. As you can see, it's on a pretty planet with hopping plant creatures orangish green grass with green trees and it looks like a lot of people have visited here I think he I think this has been up for a while but more recently my spacing guild members have visited TNT musician is a spacing guild member Dodo Vanky is not like I said I think this base was built quite a while ago because I think I remember seeing it on Reddit or somewhere a while back. So into the door. This breathes life into my weary soul. Yeah, the system is called Hyrule and the planet is called Breath of the Wild. So I think it's built to look like a Zelda castle. And Zippy X819. Oh, he gave coordinates for one of his one of his bases with a maze, looks like. And somebody named Wild Bill 5150. Okay, so let's take off. Make sure I didn't miss anybody's messages. Oh, there's another one. It looks like it's got hopping sock puppet creatures too. <laughs> Those things are always freaky. This one's got giant eyebrow things. Oh, and there's Noah is my boy. To Temple of Time over Goron Mountain. Yeah, it's the Temple of Time. I think he may have... Either he built it a while back before this one, or or he, he created a replica of someone else's castle looks like this. Because I remember quite a while ago seeing a picture of a castle like this. But this planet is called Breath of the Wild, which is a game that came out more recently. So, unless he he named it after a game that was in the works, like people knew Breath of the Wild was going to come out, and he named this planet after that a while back, or this is a more recent recreation of the castle. And he named the planet Breath of the Wild. But regardless. And he told me that there is like a hidden master sword in the castle. Like in a hidden room somewhere. That's hard to find. So I'm going to see if I can search and find it. He said the planet looks like Hyrule in one of the Zelda games. Maybe because of the coloring. I don't know. Whoa, that is a lot of comm stations. Yeah, this base has definitely been here a long time to have that many comm stations. Yeah, it must be the one that I saw on Reddit quite a while ago. Pretty sweet that I got a creative guy like that in the Spacing Guild. One new service we're thinking about doing with the Spacing Guild, probably after the next update, is some kind of base building, like commissioned base building, either using share play, where a client that wants us to build a base for them will let us 
control their character through share play, PlayStation share play, then we will build them a base that way. Or we could just, they could ask us to build a specific type of base and we'll build it on our own save and give them the portal address and then they'll have this special piece of art that is just for them that they can share with friends um, that they won't actually own it because they won't have built it but basically like the memorial Noah is my boy built for my mom he built like a giant gravestone in the game and I requested that he not share it not share the portal address so that nobody could steal it or ruin it so basically like that, like people would ask us to build something for them, like maybe a memorial to a loved one that passed away, or just something else, and we would build it for them, and they could go see their special sculpture whenever they want. That's one idea for a new service we have. So this is the Temple of Time. I wish there was some kind of date on it that told us when it was built. I'd like to know how long this space has been here. Uh, it's super laggy as always. Looks like he's got a graveyard next to the temple. Which is a nice touch. And he's got flowers planted there. Star brambles. Now those were definitely added after 1.3. So maybe he rebuilt this base. Yeah, he must have built this base after 1.3 because it's close to a portal. He couldn't have just gotten lucky and had it close to the portal. So I think he built one like this before 1.3. Then after 1.3, he recreated it. But I could be totally wrong. I should probably ask Noah is my boy before I make claims like that. But I'm betting he rebuilt this after 1.3 and added star brambles and made it close to a portal so people could visit it more easily. So at the very least this base has only been up for about seven months since the 1.3 update. Uh, I mean it's in normal mode by the way that's why I'm taking hazard damage. I've got to rebuild it. Ooh, nice. Uh oh, he's got a race in here. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get out to do the race. But we'll do that after we check out the inside of the temple. Yeah, he's got the Triforce, of course. I wonder if this really looks like Temple of Time from Ocarina of Time, or I'm not sure. Looks like it. I mean, I, I never played Ocarina of Time very much, so I really don't remember. I'm sure people in the comments can tell me if it looks exactly like... <laughs> That's so cool, he's got the Triforce floating there. It's a really nice touch. What's that? It's some kind of device. Oh, that's the top of the uh, the top of the central building thingy that every base has to have. Most people that make creative bases, I say creative. This is a normal mode, but creative as in you know, really creative bases hide that central room as best they can because it's just you know not conducive to making something cool looking. Okay, here's probably the secret way to the hmm yeah there's some kind of secret way to get to the master sword Let's see if it's through here no uh no maybe I gotta go through the top to get to it Sneaky, sneaky. Be cool if it was like a... I wonder if 
wonder if I have to use my grenades to dig for it. Oh, man. That would be... complicated. think that's the way unless it's on top oh cool you made a monument and another triforce up top greetings from Ray Reynolds I know that guy Ooh. I think he's either one of our clients whoa yeah, I don't think he's I don't think he's a member of the spacing guild he, I think he's a client though Ah. I want to read who the monument is made with. There we go. Noah is my boy and Manster on. Okay. Still don't see an entrance to the secret room. Wonder if it's related to the race. Probably not, but... Ooh, here we go. Aha! Secret! Yay, I found the secret entrance. Well, this is the way to the central room. Is the master sword on the other side? Yay, I found it! Yeah, this is the master sword. It's not actually a sh sword. But he told me, he showed me a screenshot of this, so this is what the master sword looks like. The, or the stone that the master sword would be in, I guess. <laughs> I guess Link already came and got it. But yay, I found the Master Sword room. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go do that race. Oh, I should reg register my visit. Not that it matters. It just gives money at this point. Which I have well over a billion on this save, so... And I don't have anything I want to buy with it, so... But maybe in the next update I will. Maybe there'll be freighters worth a billion units. That would be nice. Okay, make sure I've got Exocraft. And let's try this race. thing about building a race, there's a bug that after you build a race, you can't build anything else. Well, you can build stuff on your base still after you make a race, but no other players will see anything you've built after the race. So if you're going to build a race on your base, build everything except the race, and then build the race, because anything you build after the race will not show up to other players. I had I had heard that that bug happens and I tried building a race for the first time for L Plays Gaming when he visited my creative mode base and it happened. Um, I had built I built some message modules for L after the race and they weren't there when L visited because 
of the bug that makes them not appear after you built the race. So, little tip for you if you're going to build a race on your base, build everything else first. Or other people won't see it. Hopefully they'll fix that in the next update. I need to, since I've experienced that bug for myself, I need to report it on the um, the uh, Hello Games Zen Desk bug reporting thing. So hopefully they'll fix it next time they do an update. So anytime you go to someone's base that has a race, I always wonder if there's something I'm missing because it didn't get saved. But it looks like this base is pretty much complete. At least the way Noah showed me. But yeah, um, L Plays just did a video of my base that I built. Or my, well, I didn't really build much, I just made a race for the most part. But he visited my creative mode planet with the purple, pink, and blue lush planet. And he did the race that I built, so that made me happy. It's a pretty big race. Oh man, it's almost over three minutes already. Uh oh, I gotta get back in there to complete the race. Come on. Come on. Let me in. Oh, am I not gonna be able to go in this way? And super laggy. Ah, can barely move. Ah, come on. Oh, come on, man. Man, that is hard to get back into. Okay. Whew. Oh, I didn't even get to see my record. Of course, you can pause the video to see what my record was. It was over three minutes. Of course, it's a pretty long race. But anyway... This has been... Noah is my boys. Temple of Time. Uh, I think Noah is my boy is a Spacing Guild member. So if you go to the Spacing Guild website, go to members and go to his member bio, he might have the address for this in his member bio. And so if you want to visit there, that is one way that you can find the address. Uh, but if he hasn't listed it, then as I said before, I don't give out people's portal addresses, so it's up to the creator of the base to decide if they want to make it public or not. But he may have listed it there in his member bio. But, yeah, this has been Noise My Boys Temple of Time. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day, and I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.